of men. The lust for battle is inebriating them again. Their fingers caress the trigger in aroused readiness. Nothing can stop them as they break the bounds and race headlong towards mutual damnation. But the earth cannot endure this madness, and nor can we. We gather in hills and valleys. We gather in schoolyards and skyscrapers. We gather wherever we are. We who know this cannot, must not be. Together, we hum the syllable of peace. <laughs> the syllable of peace day and night and night and day with unshakable intent soon we shall hear the clattering of guns as their guns fall to the floor we shall hear their missiles returning to their hangars Soon, our resolve will dissolve their determination to destroy everything we know and love. Soon, our worldwide whisper of peace shall soften their steely hearts. I am Elisa from Mosul. What I regret most is my children lost their education. I had dreamt that all my children would go to university. But already in 2004, I stopped sending them to school. I was too scared they wouldn't come home in the evening. For so long, we had lived here side by side with our Muslim neighbors as friends. But now, the militants have taken Mosul and all that is over. We love our country, but now we know it will never again be our home. I was a banker in Damascus when the peaceful movement started in my country in Syria. I didn't hesitate for a moment to leave my job and join the movement because I knew my country needed change. In July 2012, they arrested me. They moved me three times from one prison to another. They tortured me. I am lucky that I survived. In the prison cell next to mine, I could hear them torturing my neighbor. I recognized that voice. It was Abu Salim, one of our best peace activists. Mm -hmm. 
I had never met him, but I had heard his voice so many times on the radio and on the satellite phone. Mm -hmm. I heard them torturing him day and night. I heard them torturing him to death. That day when they killed him, I swore that if I survived, if I came out of here alive, I would adopt his name to honor him and to honor all the thousands who are tortured simply for daring to dream of freedom. Today, I am Abu Salim, and I am free. I'm Naila from Nablus. My husband was killed in 2003 by a sniper on the street. I collapsed immediately and I was hospitalized. You know, my husband was such a good man. He was so good to me and to our children, to everyone who knew him. When he died, I just couldn't go on. I couldn't keep working as a school teacher. When my children would cry and ask for their father, I would break down and cry with them. I thought I would go mad from grief. Then I heard about the Center for Women here in Nablus. I came here, and here I met other women who had suffered just like me. It's here that I found myself. For days, I just wept and wept and wept until all the tears had come out. Then I began to speak. Then I began to find my inner strength. I became a strong woman. Now, I go out to all the villages and I meet women who have suffered like myself and I help them to overcome the trauma of occupation. Ooh. 